All right, good morning, YouTube. Today I'm going to uh, review the Astro AI Foam Cannon. I watched several reviews, and this one came out uh, fared well against some much more expensive ones. I think I paid seventeen dollars, eighteen bucks for this. First one I got, I uh, had problems with. Um, I did what they said. This is the first one. Didn't appear to be anything wrong with it. I adjusted uh, the knob on the top where I'm holding it by. It's got a plus and a minus sign. It's supposed to add more air or less air to the mix to make more foam right there. Um, but it didn't seem to make any difference. I, the only way I could get it to foam up was walk way away from the car. And by that time, the fan was so wide, I was getting it everywhere. So something wasn't right. Contacted the folks. I was going to get a refund. They offered to send another one at no charge or then a refund. So they sent me this one. Same exact model. Um, I filled it with Chemical Guys um, Super Foam. I also tried the pink, Mr. Pink, which is also chemical, guys. So it's a good quality uh, chemical in there. And uh, so I was going to fire it up. So I was going to put it in the pressure washer. Um, I'm running a 3100 PSI Ryobi. The manufacturer of the foam cannon recommends, I believe it's 1500 to 3000. So I'm a little over that by 100 PSI. I don't think it would matter that much um, so uh, it's just a standard pressure washer um, so I've got the chemical guy stuff loaded up in the foam gonna crank it up and uh, see the difference I have my uh, black f-150 here and then the wife's Lexus white I figured uh, I'd do both of them the foam was obviously gonna show up better on the black truck to see if you can see if it's how bad it runs or if it sticks or what it's going to do um i'd already rinsed the vehicles off i just wanted to get them halfway clean before putting the foam on to see if it would stick like it claims i've seen a lot of videos where it comes out really thick and seems to cling really good and then slowly run down and i believe that's the point of the foam cannon to kind of trap dirt and then have it rinse off so you don't have to use a cloth to end up scratching your paint so uh, my wife's car there, the white Lexus, it's a 2024, so it's brand new. So I really don't want to scratch the paint on it just yet. It's too new. Truck's a 2017. It's got some age in it. already has some scratches, but uh, this was just for contrast purposes. So here we go. And as you can see right out of the bat, this is sticking to the car. I don't have the video of the previous one, but it was just coming out of there a soupy mess. It's a lot thicker. Um, this is the uh, results that I expected to see the first time. Um, and I played around and played around with the settings. Could not seem to get it to, to achieve this thick sticking foam like it's doing now. So I'm, uh, I'm pleased with this. Again, I think I paid $17 or $18 for it. And I did use 3 ounces. I think they call for 2 ounces. Maybe my problem all along was I wasn't using enough soap. In the original one, I didn't find again. I didn't find anything wrong with it, the original one. But the foam is just—it looks like shaving cream. It's sticking to it, and I believe that's the objective when you know you got it set right. So, in all in all, I'm happy with the the company Astro AI and their customer service that handled this and got me another one out. Even though, in hindsight, I think it was my fault for the f f soap mixture.